What's up everybody, Sensei here. Welcome to the show. Welcome to another video. And the pictures you're going to see are really irrelevant. You know, forget about the prices. I pulled these pics down off AliExpress. We're going to talk about motors and batteries. So forget about the pricing. We're just looking at the specs. And this first one you'll see is about the veteran Sherman. And I think the Sherman really was the benchmark that a lot of these electric unicycle manufacturers should have followed. It came out of nowhere and it just blew everybody's mind. I mean, you look at it, it's 100 volt, 3200 watt hour battery, and it has a 2500 watt motor. And it pretty much gave the EUC riders everything they needed. Durability, it gives you the range, it gives you great performance and it's been proven you see guys just push this wheel riders push this thing and it just kept on giving you know now it's arguable excuse me arguable about the torque so they address the torque with the sherman max and i believe the sherman max added with the sherman or the juggernauts of the electric unicycle market. I really do. Um, you can't go wrong. You know what you're going to get. And it fulfills pretty much all the needs of a electric unicycle rider. You get durability, performance, great battery. Uh, it did have some minor issues, the Sherman, but they pretty much fixed all that. And you can't go wrong with either one of these machines. I still think they are the top dog when it comes to buying an electric unicycle. Now, with that being said, how come a lot of these other manufacturers did not follow suit? And as we progress through these different pictures, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Now, we're gonna to jump to the next slide or pick, and you have the Commander. Now, if you look at the specs of the Commander, Power, 3,000 watt, capacity is 100 volt, and a watt hour battery is 3,600. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe the Commander is the highest watt hour battery that you can get um, along with the Sherman Max, right? So I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, man, you know, these manufacturers, they're going to do it. They're going to keep everything balanced and the commander is known as being a very balanced wheel but then i was like what happened with the abrams and i again i have no hate toward any of these wheels man i am an electric unicycle fan but i was looking at the abrams and if you look at the specs you have a 3500 watt motor and a 2700 watt hour battery and we know what happened with the Abrams? People were suffering cutouts and, and, and things like that. And I was like, why would they take, it seemed like they were taking a step backwards, Leaper Kim, with the Abrams. The machine looked phenomenal, but why would you put such a small battery on a heavy machine? Now let's take a look at the King Song S20 slash S22. It has a 3,300 watt motor and a 2,220 watt hour battery. And when this came out, I was saying to myself, why would they have such a big motor coupled with a small battery? You start leaning into this thing too much, you're going to have problems. We did see some of the problems with the KS20. You don't need me to repeat any of this stuff. But I'm like, it didn't make any sense to me. And I'm asking myself, it's like it's imbalanced now. You see these unicycles coming out with these extremely large motors and these small batteries and I'm looking and I'm like they're going to have problems down the road if I'm if I'm saying something that doesn't make any sense please just leave comments and we can talk about this you know have a civilized discussion down in the comment section because what I'm thinking with the master now the C30 and the C38 is a proven motor if you look at the master, you have a 3,500 watt motor, 
in a 2400 watt hour battery. Now the batteries do come in different configurations. You can look that up. But I think as far as range and performance, you're gonna get the speed, but the mileage is gonna be highly affected by that small battery. Again, why are companies coupling these machines with these big motors and small batteries? So we'll look at the RS-19. This is the torque version, the C38. We pretty much know all the specs on this thing, the range, the speed. I have the high, high speed version of the RS-19. And the highest I've had it up to was 38 miles an hour. With my body weight, I could probably easily hit 43 miles an hour. But I take it up to about 38, and I use all the other stuff as leeway. That way, if I hit a bump or something, I'm not going to over torque the wheel. But the performance is really not that far off from the Master. And I'm saying that because the Master, you have a 2400 watt hour battery. How many miles are you really going to get extra versus an 1800 watt hour battery? Because again, you have that big motor on a Master and people are going to push it and you're going to rip through that battery. That's going to be the issue with the Master and I'm looking forward to the Master. But again, I think it's going to fall into that same category as where the motor is really big and the battery is small and you're going to suffer mileage. Now we're going to take a look at the Hero. This is the high speed version. Now I really don't think there's, now I'm just throwing this out here and I can be 100% wrong. I really don't think as far as mileage goes, there's going to be a big difference between the mileage on the Hero and the Master. I think the motor on the Master is so big and the battery is smaller that the, the mileage is going to be probably about equal. I could be wrong, but it depends on how you ride. But the other thing behind the Hero and the Master is why are people going to pay more for the Hero when you can get a better performing wheel out of the Master? I think Bagod is going to have to drop the price on the Hero. And I think if they would drop that price, they're going to sell more units because I believe it's a great unicycle. We're going to take a look at the V11 now. Again, everybody has their own opinion on wheels. I'm just looking at this on a performance based analysis. Now you can look at it. It's 2200 watt motor with a 1500 watt hour battery. And um, I've watched the V11 beat bigger wheels or more powerful wheels on indoor tracks, outdoor tracks. And just think if they said, okay, you know what, we'll do a V11, another version, we'll put a 2500 watt uh, motor on it and a 2400 watt hour battery on it. Could you imagine just a performance upgrade without putting an extreme big motor on it? It would make a huge difference. And what I'm doing is just trying to get riders to look at things just a little bit different than how things are being presented now. And I think sometimes these big, powerful motors are sometimes hindering the performance of the electric unicycles. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about a iconic wheel, the unicorn of all wheels, the Nikola Plus or the Nick AR, it doesn't matter. Now the Nick Plus comes equipped with a 1800 watt hour battery, a 1900 watt or 2000 watt motor. The Nick AR has the same motor, but it has a 2700 watt hour battery. And this thing is known for its performance. You go to any group ride, you're gonna see a lot of Nicolas, and you have had riders that clock 40 miles an hour plus on this wheel. Okay, some have gone over 40 miles an hour, but I'm just going to leave it at 40. And I'm going to let that sink in. Again, if you're a new rider, I would I would tell you don't do that. Make sure you get some experience under your uh, belt before you go out pushing the neck because it's known to get a little squirrely at higher speeds. But what's puzzling about the Nikola is, again, you have a 2000 watt motor equipped with either 1800 watt hour or a 2700 watt hour battery. It is a 100 volt wheel but you're clocking these speeds. This thing is outperforming wheels with bigger motors, but smaller batteries. I don't know, man, I've always been a big fan of the Nick. I definitely want a Nikola in my stable, 
But this thing is like a magical will. And people are probably saying, Sensei, you're going a little overboard. No, I mean, look at the performance that you get out of these specs. That's why I keep saying, I think some of these manufacturers are putting these huge motors in these small batteries on these wheels, but they're not outperforming some of the older legendary wheels, like the MSX and the high-speed MSPs and the Nicholas and things like that. So with that being said, remember, you get on your wheel, you ride it like you hate it. You be safe, but you ride it like you hate it. I'm Sensei. Hello. Good night.